Serpentine asbestos, a really fun structure. It's got a layer of silica tetrahedra. This is a cross section. Okay, and if you all could, the all if, the tetra. If you could tell yourself again, then Dr. San, a rock oh, scientist. I'm, <laughs> I'm Dr. Cosgren. Right. I'm a geologist and mineralogist, uh -huh. and that makes me a structural chemist as well. Yes. Okay. In this particular case, I'm showing you the structure of uh, serpentine asbestos. There's a layer of silica tetrahedra, and the the top of it here has no charge at all, and the bottom, all of these oxygens are electrically charged with a minus, because they, they steal an electron. Under that, there's a layer of magnesium, and on the bottom here, I'll just cartoon it, is a layer of OH ions, and everything is held together ionically, but the magnesium is a little bit too small. The magnesium doesn't fit well. And if you take two sheets and one of them is a little bit bigger than the other, what happens is it curls up. Uh -huh. And that's what the asbestos does. It's a curled up sheet. Now there are actually a couple of ways to get around that. One way is the curling it, curling it up. Another way is to make it curl one way and then curl the other and then cur corrugated cardboard. Corrugated and that's, cardboard. That, that structure mm -hmm. works as well. And the rest of this rock is also serpentine, but it's corrugated and so it doesn't have the fibers. The third way to do it is to adjust the content. So as well as magnesium, you put iron in here as well. Iron's a little bit bigger and it relieves the strain. So there are three different ways to fix that. But the really interesting one is the asbestos, mm -hmm. which there's a thin seam of it running through here. I don't know if it showed up. Can you see the little white line running through there? Yep, yep. That little white line is a line of perpendicular fibers running across from one side to the other. Now, this would be useless as asbestos fibers because they're not big enough. They're too, they are too short to be of use for mining. But of course, if you breathe them, uh, they, they will give you lung cancer, which is not good. <laughs> as, as long as they're not inhaled though, they're just fine, no problem. There you go, five minutes. Thank you very much, sir. Okay.